Sorry, the wig is here to stay. So are the boy racers. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Or welcome, if it is your first time here, to the coolest place on the internet, as voted by nobody. 2022. Today, as you can see by the title, we're testing a new foundation. It is new, but my review is like four days later than it should be because DHL like couldn't find my flat, which is just crap. And anyway, I finally have it. We are playing with the Revolution IRL Filter Longwear Foundation Breathable Soft Matte. I have obviously applied it, which we will go back in time and watch. So I'm just doing my uh, intro now and I'll, I still don't know anything about this foundation. I don't claim, I don't know what it claims to do. So we're going to look at that now and then we're going to put it on and then we're going to wear test it. And we're wear testing it for a pretty long time. I was up at 5am today with period cramps and I thought, all right, throw your makeup on and start this review nice and early. So this foundation cost me £10. I bought it on the Makeup Revolution website. I would like to point out you only get 23 mils in here. This is something Makeup Revolution does to us quite often and they try and pass it off as their brand is super duper affordable and it's cheap. That's what affordable means, Melissa. But it's not really. That's false economy. That's 23 mils. That's 7 mils less than 99% of foundations you get out there. I asked for help. This would cost £13.04 if it had 30 mils in it. That is three pounds more expensive than my NYX foundation. It's, I just think we need to look at these little nitpicky things when it comes to Makeup Revolution because they do this to us quite a lot with their foundations. For example, yep, same thing in the Conceal and Glow, 23 mils. I just think it's a bit cheeky and I like to raise awareness of this issue. But anyway, in terms of formula, Let's have a look at what this foundation claims. For reference, I have very normal skin. It would lean ever so slightly dry, but it doesn't. It's just very normal. Most foundations look nice on me. I'm pretty lucky that way. I'm also 31, if you didn't know. Drop the filter. Introducing the Revolution IRL Filter Longwear Foundation. It's a filter in a bottle. This medium to full buildable foundation has a soft focus breathable matte formula and is available in 30 shades. Enriched with niacinamide, it's oil-free, shine-free, crease-proof, life-proof, and smudge-proof. Whilst providing 16-hour wear time from day to night, it's super coverage. With 20% more pigment, makes it easy to build and blend the foundation, depending on the coverage you desire. Housed in a luxe glass bottle with built-in pump, this foundation offers precision and greater control. It is your real-life filter. What, what, what more could you want? World peace and free crisps. Well, that's what it claims to do. I disagree with some of those claims. Not sure on all of them yet, because I've only had it on for about four hours, but we are now gonna jump into me putting it on for the first time this morning. I'm sorry for how grumpy and tired I am. And then, of course, throughout the day today, we're gonna wear test it, and it's not gonna be like last time. I'm not going to the pub, so I'm not gonna forget. After that insufferably long intro, let's uh, go back in time. I'll see you guys soon. Don't actually think this colour match is like horrible, right? Like it's not horrible. Dip it on half and see what happens. Pretty full coverage on my lips. Maybe a tad pale for me, but I'm sure when I powder it'll be fine. And it's blending out nice with this brush. More of like a dry formula. It's not really giving me anything like luminous or that. Let's take a teensy bit more for the forehead and things. It's, it's probably a bit too pink for me actually. I'm gonna have to take this like right down my neck. Yeah I wouldn't say it's like stretching very far like the formula is not like covering. Yeah like I'm having to take like a couple pumps just to get my neck. Again, right now, I've no idea what the claims are, apart from it's supposed to look like a filter in real life. It's uh, not looking like a filter right now. <laughs> oh, it looks really heavy. It looks real heavy. Not like 
disgusting. I've not put it on and I'm not like, ooh. But this is like nothing like the foundations I, I really wear these days, which are like luminous, light, medium. It's definitely higher coverage, but it looks dry and quite heavy on my face. And uh, I've got pretty good skin, so usually most foundations just look good on me, to be honest. That sounds really like big-headed, but I just, like, foundations just tend to work on my skin. And it looks alright, it's just, mm, maybe if I zoom in more, i cat hair on my face. Obviously look at this in natural light and stuff, and wear it all day, but so far I'm really not sure. I'm just gonna quickly do the other side. It might not like my primer that I'm wearing, something like that. Definitely oxidises a pinch. It's just a fuller coverage, drier feeling foundation, but I imagine with all the rest of my products on, it's probably gonna last really well throughout the day because it just feels like that kind of formula. The color really is not that bad, but I couldn't get away with not pulling it down my neck. That's it on both sides of my neep. I just like to go over with my sponge, make sure everything's super melted in. Let's go look at it in the daylight right now. Just in front of the window, I think from this distance it looks great. It just looks like I've got, you know, quite a foundation-y face. I'm just maybe just not used to it. I'm just maybe just not used to it. I'm just, yeah, maybe not used to it. Like quite so much coverage these days, but I mean, it's not looking bad, is it? It's really not looking awful. Um, but yeah, it's just, just in front of the window. It's actually, the sunlight's not really coming in yet through these windows. That won't be till a bit, quite a bit later on in the afternoon. But it looks all right, and it's not super matte and flat. Like it doesn't look like a complete, uh, like, cake flatness. I think there's still a tiny bit of dimension to my face. Don't knock that camera over, Tussie. No, no, no. What do you think? Don't eat the microphone, Tussie. Und handsome sussar. Yeah. It's not awful. I'll happy go out like this, run my errands. I mean, I don't love it, but what can we do? I might love it more throughout the day so I'm going to throw on the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back and see what it looks like and then we'll just continue about the day like I said it's very 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 early for me <laughs> and uh, see how it holds up should be pretty good you've heard it all before honest but I know uh -huh. left these years ago I was young and I'm old still good for the void uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow Never see the end of the night for sorrow What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? This looks absolutely horrible. You see from a distance, right? See when I'm looking at my monitor over there, and like, it doesn't look that bad. I just look like I'm covered in makeup. Why am I so yellow? Yeah, it just look like I've got, you know, like a thick layer of foundation on. See, close up. It's found everything about my skin that is not perfect, and it is exacerbating it. It's sitting in all these tiny little lines that I never ever see because my other foundations don't do this, and about eyes, looks all right actually. The nose, not looking nice, but it's this bit that is upsetting me the most. I know I'm really tired and like not feeling 100% like healthy, but that's not what's not making me like this foundation. It looks fine on other parts of my face, but like where my face moves, it just looks like, shut up, like a mess. But I'll finish putting on the rest of my face. I wanted you to see it with just like foundation, powder, concealer on. I will finish putting on the rest of my face and then we'll see. But I don't know if I'd be able to keep this on all day. We'll see. We'll see, Melissa. Come on.
give it a shot. It looks so bad around my mouth, I cannot. Like my makeup just looks trash today. Trash. Full on trash. I don't know. Look at this and go, I hate it with the most disgusting passion ever, but I really dislike it. Like around my mouth, I don't know. Is it picking up on camera? Look. I'm gonna finish up, I'm gonna fanny around and I'll come back and do my first check-in. We'll look at it again in natural light and see, but honestly, like, I would happily wipe this off and do something else, but I want to test this foundation, so that's what I'm doing. But, it's not nice. Okay, friends, I finished off my makeup. I haven't put my wig on or even put a t-shirt on yet. It is uh, 11am now. I I don't like this at all. Um, I'm going to just put up a couple of pictures on the screen right now so you can see what I'm talking about because I feel like when I zoom in it's not really picking up how bad this looks around my nose and my mouth. Like that is not flattering. I don't think that looks good at all. I think it looks good on the rest of my face. It looks absolutely fine uh, but around my mouth it looks awful and I don't really get this with foundations anymore like this the style of foundation I wear now that never happens. I'll see how it continues to wear. Obviously I will throughout the day but like so far I really don't like this. Look at my beautiful bouncing baby. <laughs> you don't want to cuddle right now do you? Oh, that's okay, I'll put you down on your chair. Yeah, I'm just not loving this. Okay, it's been a few hours. Full show. What time is it? Quarter past five and I started at, what, 9am putting my foundation on? So it's been on for eight hours, which is a good enough wear test, considering that's what you're going to do on an average day. Perhaps. I don't want to keep it on any longer because I could. I just don't want to. I just feel like garbage that's been set on fire. You know? The old period. It's alright, so see. I haven't looked at it and I haven't touched it up. Can't actually quite believe my lipstick stayed on that well. Uh, it just doesn't look good around my mouth. On the rest of my face, it looks lovely like there's absolutely nothing wrong with it it just looks like i'm wearing like medium full coverage foundation which is fine look at that eyeshadow separation even um uh, but around my mouth it's just it's like aging me because it's just settling into all the lines however a few of my sausages made a good point i'll put a couple of screenshots up where they're all saying to me use a super hydrating primer and then try it of course you're gonna do a poo right now i've always loved my vitamin rich face base be like under every foundation really and because i trust it so much that's why i used it today but maybe i need to just take this off try it again on another day with a super hydrating primer so i'll probably yeah just take it off now end the review here and just say i'm really like not loving it i think that's quite obvious but with as with like every new product I try I will try it again and see what happens you know probably not a dedicated video but I'll try it in another video and see what I think but yeah before I finish we'll go and look at it once more in like daylight not studio lights and then we'll wrap up I almost forgot to do this I was about to take my makeup off so my lashes are off my wigs off this is the makeup in front of the window it just doesn't look good around my mouth, or around the sides of my nose. Like, it's just, it's not even the smile lines. It's just like, oh. But I do think on the rest of my face it looks fine. It, there's nothing wrong with it anywhere else on the rest of my face. It's just around here that I'm not loving. And there's a bunch of kids on the roof over there staring at me. As I video camera myself. How embarrassing. There's a cat, there's a cat, there's a cat, and there's a cat. That is my thoughts on the new Makeup Revolution IRL filter foundation. I am a really big advocate for Makeup Revolution foundations. I usually really like them. This one seems to have been a bit of a flop for me today. 
uh, which is unfortunate, but it happens. Can't love every foundation we put on. And like I said, a bunch of my sausages have said that they love it. I'll link sausage reviews down below. Go and check them out. Obviously, this is just my humble opinion. But yeah, on that note, I'm gonna scrub my face, have a hot shower, make a hot water bottle, and then get into bed because... You know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up. A pity thumbs up would be really appreciated right now. Uh, leave a comment down below. Have you tried this? Have you not? What do you think about the fact that it's only 23 mils? Tell me that. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I do three videos a week and every Wednesday I go live for my sausages or my Patreons. We have group chats, Facebook. It's awesome. The link's down below. And yeah, I am going to piss off. I hope you're all having a nice evening. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Bye.